I'm gonna go. Well, nature is about to be tested here. And well, not ready for it whatsoever, but Sean tries to recover the situation, just forcing the issue really up close and personal, only walks away with one, so the regrowth will come through. That flash will kind of force them back, not really able to properly pounce, as they were hoping for there. These Ruth can spend again, so everyone gets back towards full HP, and wow, how about it? Neptune Poise able to find two more kills. Kusa had a couple of instant. Really does want to try to push forward and see what he can find just by peeking, but... Platoon getting able to get some good info good on the site. Sean, though, really good use of the fragment, as you said. Also a well-timed peek on the shanks to minimize the impact of the Trailblazer kind of spotting his location. Ah, but Derek keeping his position mid map able to find one DMD. Guimon not going to find know where you go from here. You still have one player lurking. To be fair, Mikhail does get a free angle, so Poise will fall. And this becomes left. a little bit more manageable. 2v3 situation. You got to keep in mind that Derek is away from this plant. Good little one away there from Mikhail to allow them to feel a little bit safer about main as they come in. But now the flank Great. from Derek through market strikes. That's an opening blood, too. Yeah. Ah, Bakusa trying to carve out the door. Shane says, nope, can't do that. No vandalism here. Finds the response. Mikhail, though, up top, does find elimination. Numbers are looking pretty doable for Gen G to at least keep Last things interesting. 2v2. Although, that said, one of the two will fall, leaving Sean by himself. No, full utility. Not sure if that's where he wanted to put the knight. Flash will also come to the mix. TMD for one over the top. Concert Divide was also part of the play. Even trade starting to come back through. 2v2 situations. Mikhail turns the tides. To now a 2v1. Just down to Neptune. Spike just onto his backside. Able to essentially just track backwards, pick it up, and then continue the progress forward. Should lead to a point here. Plenty of utility to spend, including the last talk. So there will be a chance for this 1v2 to have at least a favorable post plant. But here comes the quick hit. And, well, a little distraction up top. And so they feel pretty comfortable that they can kind of, you know, keep one player watching, you know, for mid-pressure to keep, you know, nature safe. But have this three-man A defense in place. Lusa is going to get spotted. And now Derek will try to use that to go ahead and get the Hunter Series forward. He will. Or for free. Smokes will come through. Blind shot, not going to be there. Oh, actually, Nature peeks it, finds the kill. Shanks was on the chase, but got a little bit hung up, whether it's by the smokes, the cyber cage, or just the buildings of the boathouse. <laughs> Derek, though, mid-map, once again, just playing gatekeeper on the rotation. Keeps it at a two-man advantage for Rise as they get the use to press into a site. Nature taking a forward angle on A, able to get his hit and dash. That is very vital. Ah, but GMD oh, did see one player through the mid. I was going to say, they didn't really set up for a paranoia peak. Sean just took it dry. Gets punished for it. Poise now moving through Garden. Once more, Rise putting on some pressure from multiple anger on the top side. Poise able to find Mikhail just through his own cyber cage. And Nature's not going to have an exit. He's going to have to stick this or come back to this kill on the Poise. Salvage this operator that is not going to be allowed a free exit. He's going to be tested on it. Finds the first kill over the top. Uh, we'll go one. As Rise will force them off. And Nature caught here at the link. So he's going to struggle to be able to meet up with his teammates. It's going to put them in a very difficult three on five post plant situation. Spike does go down, but they're a little bit spread in with a lot to cover, but that's a big kill from Derek. At least that alleviates the pressure of the flank for now. Allows them to kind of gather up a little bit better to kind of keep eyes on guard and position as well as heaven. Super wants to play inside this. Nebula right in front of him, holding this tight corner. When do you peek this? Here they go. Super finds one, tries to spam for more, but nature finds the immediate response. 3v2. Poise next one up. Down low. Here's the dash. Oh, the nano throw. Very well played. Poise is going to find three. What a play from Poise. Played a lot of omen in this pass. Oh, that's so much intel. Sean's gonna toss up the frag. Is he caught? No, not at all. He actually gets the weapon back up, finds a kill, flashes on the corner, wants more, and well, dark cover will be in place to essentially deny any follow up that was from GMD. And once more, it's poised on the back off screen. My goodness, it's looking so good for oh, Gen no. D until Poise says something else. Shanks dashes oh. on in, right clicks with the classic, and that's another. so dirty. Oh, that's so dirty that he just did that to him, but still a good shot here. Free take attempt from GMD has been taken off the table. And the stars are there to pull him off with the views. Yes. There's the first. Shanks, not going to spam yet. Toggles it again. Shanks on the corner. Not going to find the opening shots. GMD still using this dark cover nicely. There's the <laughs> second pull. It's actually the Nova Pulse that comes in. So not fully pulled away by the gravity, but it's not going to make a difference. The time has become too much of a problem. GMD will find the kill, but with no progress on the defusal, Rise will take round number nine. It's spent, and Rise want to go quickly. Indeed they do. They want to capitalize on this vulnerability, and they are going to get the entry onto Mikhail. Seekers going to go into back halls and spot out a player pretty early. Nova blocking passage, but how does this happen? They're getting Ooh. kills through, but what a reaction from Neptune. Quickly pounces through it himself for a couple of big kills. 
2v2, Spike has been planted, Neptune's still a bit caught out, but finding safety by the second. Good help behind this as Superman's been able to help out and, well, tries to back up towards the boathouse. Who's going to read this? Sean on the backside. Good team shots coming out. Leaves now Neptune by themselves. Trying to hold logs in the 1v2. Knows where both players are. Utility being sent. It's not going to find Neptune at all. They have to clear. Over the top, oh. though, Kusa does get the ch all the way through middle. No one's looking at it. Tap, tap away. Spike Finds one, eight. wants to come back to try to isolate members mid-map. He's able to see Shanks, and then one more behind that, but never expects Neptune, oh. who turns things into a 3v3. How have they been allowed to do this? Well, they're trying to burn their utility team. now before it comes out. Yep. Good reach coming out. There it is. Noel comes into play. Shanks finds the first, knocks Sean down. Mikhail trying to clear some space. Cyber Cage is allowing him to do so. It's a bit of a makeshift smoke screen comes into play, but gets caught on the reload. Shanks trying to battle, and it will find not just to kill on the Sean, but all- We're gonna see very early on in B Lobby, it seems. Ah, uh, Paranoia does come through. There will be a trail push. The counter, but all the play from nature. No way. He dashes in, doesn't find anything. He almost cloud bursted himself out of the play. Gen G still forcing the round peg into the square hole. Rise dealing with the just fine. Shanks, how have you found two? They're trying to keep his life. He's confirmed damage, and the Superman will say, Thank you very much. Neptune, first one on, sneaks into a nebula. GMD, Superman up top, able to find him. And Nep no one knows Neptune's here. Not a single person has any idea that Neptune is in this position. Might not even be required. Neptune will finally make their position revealed. Mikhail does go one for one, but is left overall. Looking at a 1v2 situation, no spike in hand, and Derek and Shanks are already here. And that owl drone's like, hi there, buddy. Yeah, that case didn't do any no goods when you're darted. Yeah, good way to sum it up. I mean, again, it's just battling through all that utility. You have an undiscovered player sitting on site the entire time. He's able to step out at the right moment. Seen everything he needs to, backs away, and look who's waiting. Shanks spamming through. You've got Superman up top, just waiting for the call. Will be affected marginally. Tapping away, bursting away. Poised also a part of it, and that's a three for two exchange. Favoring Rise overall. Nature's gonna try to level the odds, but Shanks from behind just exists. That's a little bad, but yeah, everything else, like you said, is pretty standard. Goose of the oh entry, boy. but the delayed peek from Rise to retake Hookah. And boy, this flash play is going to leave Sean in a world of hurt. Damage is good. Sean forced to hold his ground. And yeah, and Gen G weren't really even able to take too much territory on site just yet before this flank is already coming through. And Poise sitting up in heaven picks the perfect time to strike. Yamon only good for one to watch the flank. Mikhail's been spotted by Poise, tries to duck and dodge into the vents and get away, but good lord. <laughs> Luckily for them, there was no follow-up on that. But it doesn't sure? matter there. It's, it's <laughs> raining men through Hookah, and it's, it's not going well. Because there's so much. So here comes the hit. 37 seconds. Sean, ooh, actually gets a bit of freedom as the flash does free him forward, but Super finds one, Super finds two. Says, let me take your assault rifle, and then Shanks using his trap wire through the poison clouds find more. DMD tries to sneak through, and you thought maybe he had a kill, but... Gone, but Derek's playing forward on it, and they're also playing aggressive hookah, and they are, again, not letting up. They catch Spike! Spike down a. And more. Oh, no! And more. I mean, Sean, you can take... He needs, he even stays a little bit longer to try to confirm how many members are here, and as he does, he gets punished, and now Risers have to play worse Waldo with the last two players. If they even oh, want to, they can just hold man. the Spike. man. This hurts. That's going to be the next obstacle to hurdle. Shanks wants to take this aggressively. So much information. Free peek on the nature. Oh, my goodness. And now Neptune says it's time to go. Showstopper from the back door. Open up. Who's home? Kusa and GMD, not bad. They're able to respond pretty darn nicely. Keeps things at a 3v3. And Shanks is going to be pushed off the angle. Trailblazers oh will come through. And Shanks is in a little bit of trouble here. Hold on. Super's going to have to try to hold this. And, well, he will create just enough space. But Shanks, this is... Oh, my goodness. This is a... Full W strategy if we've ever seen one out of our eyes. Yeah, but this is great from Gamon. This is a very perfectly timed alt to get into a heaven position and start alleviating some pressure, start forcing Rise to fall back off of showers. But Seekers come out from Shanks to help clear that space back. Huge oh. pick on to Gamon as well. I mean, the shock and all Shanks is up and Neptune's alt. It, the drone still kind of keeping the pressure on short aid, trying to make it a little bit harder for them to penetrate into the site. About to say, here we go. Some proactivity from Gen G coming out with Mikhail having the Hunter's Fury poison to find one Supa. Nearly able to still hold down to the site, but Gen G will get a take. Viper's bit going to be spent. Neptune is a part of this equation. Quickly rotating is Derek, who is one elimination away from maybe even being able to find Hunter's Fury of his own. Neptune's on the side of this play. If he finds Mikhail here, we could actually see a pinch, but. 
not going to happen. And now Derek 1v3. And it looks like maybe finally Gen G will get themselves on the board. They better secure this, man. I fear the worst if they can't finish this one off. But it seems like with the Viper's Pit in 3v1, it should be a formality from this point forward for them. Should be really no way forward for Derek, but Snake Bite's still probably available, I'd imagine, for nature. At least one left. Got a pretty solid read on where the players aren't, but... They, it's, it costs a lot, right? Think about how many alts have to put, get put into play and... Yeah. Okay. I mean, the thing about it is, these are not overly advanced peaks. It's Flash peaks. Yeah. Trailblazer peaks. It's, it's nothing... You know, too in incredible we haven't seen before. It's just Gen G are getting beat to the punch. It's re really feels yeah. like Derek's and they're getting away with it too. Showstopper will find one, so there is some space to gain. And okay, Gen G's on the site. This is a good second round here in a row, for, uh, possibly in a row. Yeah, Derek, it's a nice little frag there. Shock Dark could come in and do some heavy damage to Gamon as he's playing Spike. Not quite. Three on three. Oh, big kill there from Kusta. Boombot does allow Neptune in, has to deal with the Seekers, avoids the Flash, finds Gamon, surely not. Has the beat on Workusa's position, tries for a desperate satchel. The Toxic Cloud will actually allow Neptune to switch sides. Tries to shrug off the Decay, but Nature watching the whole way. Derek knows where the last two players are, but has to consider what he wants to do about the defusal. Gets it to halfway. He's off. Avoids the Flash, but no, Kusta. I'm on a utility from Rai, so again, the pressure from Gen G looking better. Oh, Neptune got spotted up there on the double stack boost position. It's forced to have to fall down, and that's going to allow Sean a great chance to get the entry here. They also catch Shanks on short, and so things are starting to pile in Gen G's favor. Boys has been able to recover a weapon, though, as he makes his way on. Superman's trying to find an angle, but no, denied Gen G. Much cleaner. Where was this in the first six rounds, you wonder? Two rounds in a row looking prime for a third. Derek is, well, good play for another safe haven and yep. allows them to get players deep into sight defensively. And so Genji may have to make the call to back off here at some point. Oh, Derek does get caught up with the recon bolt. And Sean just bursts right through the wall. Finding himself a couple of kills, leaving things just down to Super. Gravity well will be spent trying to deny an initial plant. Does allow a chance for Super to get over to Hookah. That will be countered by the paint shells. And now the 1v3 will ensue. Spike planted. Gen G on the post pump, looking for four rounds in a row. Super, not a lot of utility, really none actually to play with whatsoever outside of maybe wanting to get a star down, but it's not going to be safe to do that. This has to hopefully find an angle and a timing. Has a good angle on one. That's nature, finds the kill. Where's the second? Snap! Oh, it. oh my goodness! Why is going to get aggressive? I'm not going to pan out this time. I'll drone scouts at GMD ready, but Super. SMG in hand finds Sean, so still things will stay 4v4. Gen G, just, again, you just need to make sure you secure this round here. You give yes. this one away, and it's not going to feel good whatsoever. Poised, though. This is a well-timed yeah. flank, and this could be absolutely devastating as the pressure's going on showers simultaneously. And look at this. Poise comes in, disrupts the Hunter's Fury, gets the Neural Theft off, upgrades no. a weapon. Superman gets a frag as well. This is starting to hurt. Albacusa does catch Super on the reload. 2v2 situation, boys still playing from the flank, Cybercage will come out, Seekers on the mix, and Nature up close and personal finds the kill. Now comes down just to Derek, 1v2, here's the teleport, and is quick to rotate over to see if he can contest, but with an SMG, this is going to be hard pressed, I think, to find both. Yeah, Shock Dark's going to land in right on top of Kusin, stops the No plant. way! What a lineup! No way. So now 1v1. Major long range! Oh my goodness, Derek! This is uh, the last chance to dance here in the first half. Big entry nice. from Kusta onto Shanks. And that's the solo pressure. Able to take out the fire as well. Just continue to put the pressure on, maybe forcing a little bit of a rotation out of Rise. As I said that though, they're starting to recommit like they actually want to fully hit it. They're going to smoke off boys in heaven. It's not coming up short, and there's really nothing there to defend it. Sean? Aggressive? Nice Showstopper? Not a part of this whatsoever, and oh boy, if he butts this loose, he could find some damage. Not gonna confirm too much. Hunter's Fury though called out defensively. Derek's finding damage! Neptune was able to respond with the Showstopper of his own over towards B. The Spike now has to rotate! There's not enough time! Neptune's in the corner! Checking in his nature, finds no. the kill! Can they get on and plant in time? Derek is here, he finds one! He stalled it long enough!
And Come everything on. was starting to look good for Gen G to go six in a row. Towards Portal, perhaps undetected, and that could be big. It doesn't well, it seem it like it was detected. Yeah, I don't think Derek saw it at all. Nova Pulse spin over towards Huka. Snake bite to slow things down, re-rotating as Gen G's defense. And oh boy, here comes a double peek. Nature and Kusta working together through long. Don't see anything through the toxic screen. It goes down. Derek peeks. Finds information. Finds damage. Can't confirm a kill though. Rai still on the crouch. They're trying to isolate these players at B1. Oh, the flash is so good. Or is it? Neptune's able to find a couple of his own, but simultaneously his friends through Huka were dealt with. And now it's a stepped in for 1v3. Yeah, this is a tough one to be three. Yeah, Sean's low on health and starting to get some space running out of time and Sean will silence him. No, not at all. I mean, Poise 2 was trying to watch to see what that Kusa teleport was going to look like. Couldn't really lurk behind the play, so he's cleared no space in A. Ooh. Trailblazer is still being held onto. Doesn't catch Poise. Did it catch Shanks, though? That's the real question. Nameplates will go away. So we just see the X-Rate Poise on the attack. Cyber Cage in play. Gravity Well also in. Poise wants to challenge it. Not going to find the first blood success, though. Shock Dart's behind it, but Mikhail lives through it. GMD, oh my goodness, finds two of his own. Derek trying to fight back, but no success there. And the bonus round comes through clutch for Gen G. Get harder for Raz to feel comfortable with this push, and not even looking to do it, really. Poise is trying to throw a bit of a fake here with the cages. He's making noise. He's running forward. Nature has to respect this, but Poise takes a lot of damage, just has to keep his life. Here comes the attack, meanwhile, over towards A. It's Grimond who's trying to hold things up, but a blast pack play from Neptune allows him forward to find the first kill. He gets a Poise kill has the found beat. a kill outside by B, no way. Kusta deals with it, but that's job done for Poise. Oh, absolutely. Not only does he keep people in place, but he even gets a frag, slowing down the rotations even further, really crippling its retake. And uh, that is brilliantly done here from Rise. A little bit of back and forth pressure, a little bit of a fake there, and... Now they have a pretty good chance to go ahead and win this post plant. Four on three. Not a lot of utility for Gen G to retake this. Zach Goose is the only one who's really holding it. He gets taken down by Shanks. Still trying to hold the angle of Shanks, but that will be countered. Show stop around. Oh my goodness, Sean jumps in. He finds one behind. Are you kidding? And now it's just down to Derek. Sean with the showstopper. Holding down the angle. Derek, though, he finds the peak. Finds the first elimination. Sean no. tries to lock things up, but no, it's a Red Bull clutch for Derek. You cheer. Actually, let's connect on the two different players. Boy, he's going to be forced to make a decision quickly. Gravity will make, allow him a chance. Gen G, though, able to find two with his play through Octagon. Mikhail tried to assist, and boy, does he. Double kill off the Hunter's Fury, but Derek gets two in response. The problem is he's on critical left. health and still has two more to deal with with no spike in hand. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble here with low time, low health, no spike possession. Has a couple of shock darts. I have the spike. Oh man, I don't, I don't see him getting this one. Ten seconds left. I'm a problem. He's going to play for the kills. I know what it. They're going to drone through the wall here soon and try to get some intel on some players. They have a three-on-three -three battle that might commence here at U-Haul. It's going to be wild. Oh! Sean, he finds three. The Boombot playing a critical role. The timing of the peak perfect. So now Derek and Supa. <gasps> Supa has snuck behind again. Could just watch over the top, and Derek is forcing so much attention. But the dark cover denies entry. Derek has to do more, and he will do more. Finds himself another into the dark cover. Goes Supa, finds one, tries to spam, and yes! Supa with the double, and rise! And maybe gets a little bit of understanding of what's going on. I like the call here, though, from Rise. You see the expiration of the recon bolt. Sean, oh no! Midair finds himself the showstopper, then gets a more traditional kill on the follow, but still poised. Does not know how to lose a round. Finds two beyond. Oh, nice. Tags up two. Great information. One more through. He finds nature. That's a lot of the defensive pressure towards B now alleviated. Here come the sequels on the attack. Kusa has to hold. Offensively, Cosmic Divide going to get into play as Poise tries to control Huka. Long play developing for Mikhail, but he's not going to get here in time to do much <gasps> of anything. And he's going to rain past Shakes. He didn't see no. him. No. What a frag. Spike gets planted. Mikhail scouted. Going to run right into a trap wire. Deletes that, and no chance. Poise finds the kill. Now the neural theft. Down to Gabon and Sean. 2v3 situation. Paranoia gets spent. Boom, bot out. Aljo now also denied. Now the retake has to come through. You need to clear two spaces essentially all at once. 
GMD coming on in. Sean gonna get revealed by the recon bolt. Super gonna take use of that. Finding more spams down the trigger. Put themselves on series point. Indeed. These trap wires. Yeah, they spot Shank Swords attacking spawn. And Kusa able to fit the head. Positioning here. Derek. Oh, you're, you're playing with fire, Derek. It reads it perfectly, though. The lesser defended site. And Nesh is gonna make noise. Show stopper to bait. Trying to clear out space. Oh, Red Kumon below him somehow finds the kill. So now we turn our attention over towards the B site, which is where the hit's coming from Acousta. Such low Only health. has a pistol. And low health. Only has a pistol. 13 seconds. Can he stop the plant? Not going to happen. Ten the spike's going to go down. Oh, it's been so close to nature. Spike planted. Okay, all nature now here. A couple of members from Rise are tagged down to a single bullet worth of health. And Mikhail continues to spam really close to a couple of these players. Derek watching the cross through this nebula. Here it goes, Mikhail. Pushes through. Gets a read that Derek is somewhere nearby. Can't find the kill. Shock dart comes through. Tags him a bit of damage. Now we're responding in kind. Nature moves through. Not going to find anything. Neptune and 